Hey Asa, how are you? Hey Christian, I'm fine, how are you? You're still alive? Did you drink camel urine in the morning, Asa? Hello? Uh, watching your live video. Yeah, I'm saying, I'm asking you, did, like, did you drink this, coffee this, or uh, did you drink coffee? No, no, no. Did you drink coffee or camel urine in the just morning? Just water, just water. Why you don't drink camel urine? Come on, come on, brother. Shouldn't we be Muslims? I mean, come on. You are a Muslim and you like the Prophet. Why you don't drink camel urine in the morning? I mean, try it. It's come. I think, look, imagine this. You sit next to your window and it's raining outside and you have a hot camel urine in front of you. It's like better than 10 times than the beer, brother. Why you don't try it? Did you try it before? <laughs> No. Why you don't try it? I mean, come on, do me a favor. I want you to take a selfie when you do it, or maybe you make a no, video. I, you know, I, I, I don't have any reference by now. This is a, a really good thing to do, man. What and, and if do you want to show your reference so, for the story or what? What are you talking about? You you can bring it up, but I just I just want to uh, ask you something. Oh, so, okay. So you don't want to talk about the camera you're in? We we can talk about it later. No problem. If you want. No problem. Okay. Um, so, do you think that every Muslim is an is an enemy of Christians? No, it's Muslims who believe that we are enemy. Christians don't believe that is enemy. We believe that we love everybody. You should love it, your enemies. There. Yeah, yeah right. just what he just said. But, but but Muslims, let me show you. You as a as a Muslim, if you have a father, is your father as a Muslim? He is right. No, he's not. He is not. Oh, okay, I feel sorry for no you. No one then. in my family is a is a believer. Uh -huh. Uh, not my mother, but they are, but they are Muslim family by birth, right? What happened? No, 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 no. Ah, okay. Let me show you. This is the Quran says to you in chapter was, nine, uh, my friend. I was, in, in I was raised a uh, Christian, and then I. Yeah, what happened to you? Know. Did you lose your mind? What you like virgins? Do you like <laughs> do you like sex a lot? What? Come uh, on, tell me the truth. Why you, you know, why you, you know, why you accept such a cult? You know, I did not really understand. Um, hmm. My friend. Do you know Whether that you do you know that you cannot Jesus okay God let, let me ask son, let, let me ask you let me know. ask you do you like your father certainly I am yeah. hmm. not really but you know do you like your just, mother yeah do you like I your like brother you. I love you do you love your brother no I I have a sister but you know I have okay do I'm you not, do you love do you love I'm your not sister in contact with him. Oh, okay but do you know according to the Quran you cannot be a friend to them no more your mother, your father, your sister. Yeah, but there's also what G uh, Jesus said. You should love him more than 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 See, your mother. Okay, well, hold on. Okay, love him, but you know. Okay, no, no, no. Actually, let me let me make it more clear. You hate oh, the whole God. world. Jesus said you have to hate the whole world, and hate here is not about hating them. And the word hate but mean loving him more. No, loving it's about let me let me explain to you. It's about hating hating everything will disturb you from being with in, God. In this All right. Yeah. So. Jesus saying to you that you need to love me for I am the only one who can save you. If you love mm -hmm. something else more than me, it's me. You don't belong to me. Now, mm -hmm. Quran says to you, you cannot be a friend to your parents. Do you agree with that? No, because, you know, as Muslim, we believe in that your, your mother and, the, and, and your father, you, you should always listen to them. No, that's true. And, and being humble. That's false. Here we go, the Quran in front of you. Choose not your fathers, not your brethren for friends. If they take pleasure in disbelief rather than faith, this is just like Abraham did. Abraham's mm -hmm. father did also not believe, yeah. So he did, you know, left him. Okay, oh, you but know, you don't take him as a friend. So he's, he's if you cannot take him as a friend, he <laughs> became your enemy. <laughs> we we just have to understand. My friend, this, I understand. You know? Don't don't mean you have to understand. You don't. You yourself, you are the last one who understand what Islam is about. I'm asking you. Hmm. If if somebody cannot be your friend, you are the one who called me and said, "Do you think all the Muslims is your enemy?" Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I said no. Now, hmm. can the Muslims accept me as a friend according to Islam? Yes. That's a lie. But 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 not as a protector no you know, no my you, friend you, you no, no, no 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 you see you're you you're fooling yeah, yourself true. because the protector is somebody is more than a friend actually to you which means he is really care for you because if somebody want to protect you it means he love you more than mm -hmm. just a friend mm -hmm. correct so why even mm -hmm. refuse someone he want to protect you if somebody he want to protect you it means he's willing to give his life to defend you mm -hmm. that's mean he's better than a friend because there's many friends when you need them they run away but somebody would stand and defend you and protect you. It's mean really, really, he's a real friend. Do you agree? 
Yeah. Okay. So how we can accept such a person to be my friend who is going to protect me? Because okay. Islam is a scam. Islam teach hate, teach division. And the Quran says in different verse in chapter 5, verse number 51, says that those who they are taking them as a friends is one of them. So you leave Islam if you became a friend to the Christians. Yeah, I know that, you know, many Muslims, they hate the Jewish people. I don't know why. Maybe maybe because Allah hates them or I don't know. Or, or you know, but... My friend, what's wrong with you? Is your, with my respect to you, is your health is okay? Is your brain is okay? What do you mean because Allah hate them? The, any, the Quran, all of it is a book of hate. Anyone who don't believe in Muhammad, Muhammad, he says, kill him. Anyone. Mm -hmm. Chapter 5, verse 51. Oh, who you believe, take not the Jews and the Christians as your friends. And the one who take them as a friend is one of them. What is the crime? What, you, what is the crime you commit? You became a friend to a Christian. Mm -hmm. If you became a friend to me, you are one of us, which means you are not a Muslim no more. And that make you go to hell. What kind of religion this religion is? Why a person like you join a cult like this, my friend? Cult of hate. If everybody say to his neighbor, you are not my friend because you don't believe in the same God I do, and you are my enemy. Imagine how the word ugly is. Yeah, but let me ask you one, uh, one question. Imagine that we believe in that we, 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 are, we are from one, one man, and this is Adam. And and then you know many nations you know rise and in, there's now Africa there's you know Saudi Arabia and Europe and many many nations many different people. Hmm. Do you believe that God uh, wants us to be uh, different than all the all the other people? Yes. Hmm. What right? does that so, mean? Okay. So, you see, let, let me. Do you think that you, you see? Should... I don't. I don't want to. Uh, uh, first of all, I want you to do to to remember something. If I am harsh with you in the language, don't don't be offended, please. Okay, do we no, have, no. can we, okay, okay. my friend, what you said, I use words, I, like I use words, I use words because this is how I, I speak, what I believe. So mm. I am not polite really, and I don't want you to think I'm insulting you, but this is how I speak. What you mm. just said to me is very stupid because you believe in the religion that everyone is made to be who he is before Allah, he created him. Which means I am a Christian because Allah decided to make me Christian. <laughs> Yeah, maybe. <laughs> no, not maybe. And we can prove it. Come on. So how you are going to be? Like, okay, listen, listen. How stupid this God? He made me Christian, and he made you a Muslim, and then he made you my enemy, and he made he, he made me his enemy, and then he is going to punish me for he made me Christian, and then he is going to reward you for he make you Muslim. Mm. How stupid that is! Oh, <laughs> I want to show you a message <laughs> I received today. Mm. Read with me and laugh. Oh, not this one. Let's see the other one. I have yeah, many messages. Me. Hold on. Oh. Give me a second. The madness of it. I feel sorry for you, my friend. You are a victim. Yes. Uh, no, no, it's it's uh, it's okay. No, um, you know, I try to learn from you, and maybe, maybe you you can learn from me. I don't know. No, I don't think know. I will learn from you anything. <laughs> you don't have to learn. From okay, me. read with it's me. Okay. Read with me this. This is a message. This is a message sent from a Muslim to a Muslim, to a to a Christian girl. For me, it's a blessing for being a Muslim. You know, mm -hmm. no one can be a Muslim unless God wants you to be. I am glad he chose me and I was born in a Muslim family. Mm -hmm. All right. So you cannot be a Muslim unless Allah, he wants you to be a Muslim. Then she continue. And, the, and the, the Christian girl, she said to her, unless God wants you to be, she said, yes. See, everything is destiny. It is, you know, kind of. You know. Okay, how you believe in such a stupid thing? If everything is destiny, so what? Why are you? Why you are going to go to heaven, and why I will go to hell? If He is the one who decides for me to be Christian, the one who should go to hell is Allah, because He made me Christian and He made you Muslim. How stupid is this belief? Is if everything is destiny? But you know, you know, I, I have the Bible next to me, and I and I uh, thought to to just read it, you know. Mm. And I know I remember that God said mm. that um, He is the one who gives one person the weapon, and and He is also the one who giving the other person the the weapon to 
this uh, you know you know because he makes everything my god friend my everything. friend the bible says it clearly that god created the sun and the sun will shine over the good and the evil this is different here we are talking about god he decides for you your destiny to be or not to be so then mm -hmm. later he is going to punish me for being what he asked me to do i will give you an example mm -hmm. why adam was out of heaven sent out of heaven because you know shaitan or the, the snake okay. deceived him okay did adam commit sin and he deserved to go out of heaven yes because he dis disobeyed the okay so you, you just said disobeyed right you just said disobeyed yes god okay. said do I'll, not eat from this fruit thank and, you and and, and, okay. and he ate it i so. will show you how we strip at your god allah right now in a second okay just love with me here the <laughs> debate and this is the debate here happened between uh, the, uh, uh, adam and moses mm. my friend if i am you i will be crying not laughing because you are in a deep excuse my language you are in deep shit. No, and i didn't use this word usually but this is how it is listen carefully let me show you the shit you are talking about you just said to me that adam because he commits sin he disobey allah correct yes okay but this is not the open that the truth read what muhammad he said the prophet what, said wait, adam wait, read with the screen you know, oh hold on the screen is not there let me show you the screen mm. oh sorry the screen is not there it's my fault <clears throat> Adam and Moses argued with each other. Moses said to Adam, O oh Adam, you are our father who disappointed us and turned us out of paradise. Then Adam said to him, O oh Moses, Allah favored you with his talk, talked to you directly, and he wrote the Torah for you with his hands. Do you blame me for action which Allah had written, for, for, written in my fate 40 years before my creation? Yeah, because you know we we believe in that uh, Allah created Adam to 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 be on Earth, but we believe that that he. My friend, don't be stupid. In, read carefully. In, in read carefully. Earth. Read carefully. This is not about being in Earth. This is not about being in Earth. This is he saying to him, "Do you blame me for the sin I did? You cannot blame me. Allah wrote that in my fate. Mm. This is not about what 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 Moses saying to him." I blame you, blame you that because of you, you turned us out, out of paradise. What turned him out of paradise? And when you say to me, Allah created me to, be, to live in earth, that's stupid too. Because Allah created him and he said to him, you are the one who said to me, he told Adam, go and eat from this tree, stay, stay, stay in this heaven, right? So he did not send him right away to earth unless he did not, yes. break the command. He did the sin, yes. And Thank you very said, much. So what is the reason to be out of the heaven is not because Allah created him to be in earth, but because Allah, he created him to be in the it's, earth it's, he gave him, which is the heaven. Yes. Hmm. So what is the reason now Adam is saying, you cannot blame me. You cannot blame me. Why? Because Allah, he wrote my destiny before my creating my creation 40 years. So you cannot blame me for my sin. And look what your prophet, who is the guy or the, the, the Trinity guy, he keeps saying, so Adam confuted Moses. Adam confuted Moses. Adam confuted Moses. He repeat that three times. Hmm. So you're okay. a prophet, you're a stupid prophet. He agree that Adam is right and you cannot blame Adam for his sin. But I, I ask you, you said, yes, Adam commits sin. That's why he was out. So you blame Adam. But now you say, you see here, we cannot blame Adam. So why Adam was kicked out of heaven? And why you cannot blame Adam for his sin? I don't know. Man. What do you mean? Are you looking at yourself? I feel sorry for you. You know, listen to me. You are a nice person. I have to admit. But either you have a mental issue, or you no. have a mental issue. I'm just. I'm... No, you cannot explain to me because he will go. I mean, how clear this is more than this. Let me ask you: If a child he go to hell, do you think a child should go to hell? A baby. No, he is one day that. old. This. Is the... It was just uh, f from your last videos. I okay. So why a child will go to hell? To what up. is what justifying that when God He sent us to hell, He sent us because of what? Is that because of sin or because we did uh, 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 nothing? But this is just another hadith. You doesn't matter. It's a true hadith. Doesn't matter, my friend. Another hadith. Another, who cares? This is your prophet speaking. Are you dis are you disrespecting Muhammad now? Come on, you cannot do that. You are a Muslim now. You are Abdul. Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> Muhammad he said 
that a, a baby child he might go to hell okay what kind of god is god why because he wrote your destiny before you are created so you might go to hell even if you are a baby who never committed sin that alone is enough to prove that muhammad is you know suffering from mental issue and he is a stupid man because if god is about justice and god is always just one of the names of allah is al-adil the just how he is a just and then you send a baby who never commits sin to hell where is just in that your prophet said if you people do not commit sin Allah will destroy you and replace you with people and uh, commit sin and ask for forgiveness Allah will destroy you and replace you with people who commit sin and are for forgiveness mm. that's it, mean your God it, is a sick God he, he needs he, ne he wants you to commit that, sin imagine that Adam did never uh, never disobey so Allah will God. kill him so Allah will kill him no, not all the people that are living right now would would, would even exist maybe we don't know maybe my friend you, you see maybe you are, you are being stupid again this is not the, this is not the topic the topic mm -hmm. is the your prophet said if you don't commit sin Allah will destroy you so if mm -hmm. Allah if Adam did not commit sin Allah will destroy him mm -hmm. so who is the stupid here why Allah will destroy Adam if he will not commit sin I've not asked for this question. you see you're being <laughs> you're my friend you choose to be um, I don't know there's something wrong with you you need to see a doctor Literally, no, I, just, I mean, how how I, more stupid? How I, more I stupid? No, you are not learning. You are not learning. You are a person who block his brain. He don't want to see. You don't want to. See, you don't want to hear. All of this is enough to prove to us that this is this is a stupid religion. Yeah, if you don't commit also... sin, okay, give me give me give me the justice. Don't tell me I do not know. You are a human being who have a brain. You are not a rabbit. I did not say that. that you you, you are I not a rabbit. You are not a I rabbit who keep that, moving but... his lips, my friend. You are not a rabbit who keep moving his lips, even if there's no food there. I'm asking you, you give me the reason. God, right? Give me the reason why God will destroy you if you don't commit sin. I don't know. I have not. Here know. we go. I don't know. So, what, 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 you, no, you, you know, it's obviously that this is unjust and this is not, this is stupid. And this is against all the principle. The Muslim, they, they try to say to us that Islam is about just. If you pray, if you worship, if you say shahada, you go to heaven. Here we go. If you don't commit sin, Allah will destroy you anyway. Or what you need to do, you commit sin. And then we find that Allah is the one who wrote your sin. How stupid that is. So you commit <laughs> sin or you don't commit sin, it doesn't matter because Allah, he is the one who wrote your sin for you. Muhammad, he said. <laughs> yeah. My friend, are you, laughing, are, are you laughing at yourself? No, I, I just want to laugh because, you know, you bring all this up and, you know, I don't know you you bring me you know you throw me on this wall and you and you keep me you know say 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 that you're st stupid or you well is it stupid be honest that... with me I am making things up don't you agree that this is stupid no you 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 bring in good th uh, things up but uh, certainly we we also have to fear God and when my friend what's him, what God what God no 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 you see you see your him. God the one you are talking about he, God cannot be stupid do you agree Yes. Okay, course. this is stupid because you are saying to me, okay, it's like, you know, you remind me of a child, uh, 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 you know, I, I used to visit a friend. He have a son and I like to, you know, I like to see boys when they are young, they have dirty clothes. I don't like to see a son. He have a, uh, like a, because that's mean he is not really being a boy. I like him to be like, why? I said to him, why your clothes is clean? He said, why not? He said, Come on, make them dirty. Chomp. You know, please you could do something. Okay, but what I will do now? I said, why? He said, if I make them dirty, my mom scream at me. If I make them, if I if I, if I keep them, if I keep them clean, you scream at me. And this is exactly what's happening now. You have a God who is working too. He is a Christian prince, and he is the mommy in the same time. He wants you to be clean, and he wants you to be a dirty. If you are clean, he will punish you. If you are dirty, he will punish you. Who is the stupid here? So, do you believe in that every Muslim will go to hell or what? My friend, even, this is not the question. I'm talking about your religion now. I'm talking about your religion. Your religion. 
Your religion saying to you that you go to hell or to heaven is not your decision, is not your work, is not your belief. It's what is written in your faith before you are created. Mm -hmm. And this is very stupid. It says that you are a person who is going to do one, two, three, four, and then you will go to heaven. In the other side, it says it doesn't matter what you do. You are going to go based on what Allah decides for you. Mm -hmm. In the hadith, in different hadith, he says, Muhammad. Read with me. And see the stupidity. And this is Sahih al Bukhari again. The Abdul cannot say it's weak. The Prophet said, Allah says, I am just as my slave. Thinks I am I able to for you to do things. I didn't know what the heck is that. I mean, what kind of translation? No. Uh, uh, anyway, uh, no, this is this is what, hold on, let me show you. All right, here we go. This is better. Allah Messenger said, the truthful, the truthful, the truly inspired, look how truly inspired he is. Each one of you is collected in the womb of his mother for 40 days. By the way, 40 days as a sperm. And that proved that Muhammad is a scam because the sperm doesn't live. The sperm doesn't go into the womb anyway. And the sperm, doesn't stay alive for 40 days maximum maximum maybe you know like uh, five days here and then turns into a clot and this is again additional proof that muhammad is a liar because the sperm does not transform into anything the sperm <clears throat> go into the egg and activate the egg deliver the dna and will be destroyed then you will become a clot that's when you will become a blood and there's no stage in the baby that the sperm would become a blood a congealed blood actually the quran said and then for equal period, which is 40 days. So now we have 40 plus 40. And then he turned into a piece of a flesh for a similar period. That's mean 40 plus 40 plus 40. This is 120 mm. days. So in 120 days, you are created in Islam. That is the most stupid thing is ever. So what is nine months is about? Then he continued. After the 120 days is completed and Allah, he will order the angel. And the angel will write four things for you, i.e. your provision, your age, whether he will be watch, or he will be blessed and then his soul will be so your destiny this is your destiny you will be a believer you will be not a believer you will be a bad person you will be a good person mm. Allah he wrote for you so why he will punish me for being a bad person in, in hold on hold on let's continue and look at this stupid idiot here and then he continues saying and by Allah Muhammad now he swear when Muhammad he swear it's mean he's who's going to make a big poopoo by Allah a person among you may do the deeds of the people of the fire is what is doing what deed of the fire remember hmm. tell there is only a cupid an arm breathe distance between him and fire look at this the guy he is doing everything against what allah taught him everything and look what will happen but when the writing of allah which the angel write proceed and he does the deed of people of paradise and he enter it. <laughs> <laughs> so everything you did in your life is not your choice at the end of the day. Yeah. Allah will format already, your computer and the it's, writing. It's, it's already been written. Yeah. It, he, have a, he, he put for you a virus there. The virus will be activated when there's one, <laughs> one meter between distance and hell. Almost you are there. Like you are going to enter and suddenly the virus activated and he format your no. computer. You know, we also believe in that there's always an, an angel with us and and the all and Abdul, the also don't be stupid don't change down. the topic don't change the topic mm -hmm. this is not about an angel in your ass this is stupid too what angel in our right and left and don't be stupid listen carefully you are doing all ugly work all your life and then what is written by allah is going to reactivate it and then you go to heaven and vice versa and man may do the deeds of paradise people of paradise till there's only one a cupid a cupid or two a distance between him and paradise and the writing of allah will proceed and he does the deed of people of fire and he enter it so why you want to pray because at the end of the day before my the distance of one cupid is the writing of allah will take over anyway do you get the idea how stupid this is you know i get your point but my friend don't call me again unless you are stupid you know because seriously you are, you are making me believe that you are being stupid now you got my point are you serious you got my point 
I, I get your point. No, you, you do know, not get my point. If you got my point, if you got my point, you will leave this cult. How not, how I am praying? Not, how a person, listen, how a person praying all his life, worshiping Allah, doing jihad, doing what Muhammad said to him, and then the writing of Allah will take over. Where is justice in that? But but the Quran says when you obeying God and believing in Him, you 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 will, you will enter Jannah. This so, is a contradiction. So Here we go. Muhammad is saying that to you too. You are obeying God. You are doing the deed of heaven. You are doing the deeds of heaven and then what is written by Allah will take over anyway so all of Islam is an idea is a stupid are you understanding the Quran better than Muhammad no okay so Muhammad explained to you you do the deed of heaven all your life you pray five times you know you convert you say shahada you clean your ass with three rocks you drink camel urine instead of beer <laughs> and you do all the stupid things huh? and you eat your boogers now you are almost in that in the in the door of paradise because you did all the good deeds suddenly what is written by allah will take over and they will, hey, hey hey you 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 come here come here come here what i'm praying all my life no no the deed of allah allah he wrote for you that's it that, that now that's it's going to take over you will be a bad person get out of here and let us send you to hell how that can be from god where's your brain my friend do you have one <laughs> of course I have one. well here we okay. go you you Where's tell me how you who you tell me to me the quran good. says to us you know if you do good deeds how, okay here we go good deed he, the guy he did a good deed do you see what it says the guy he did good deeds all his life until he is almost in the door of heaven what is justice in that this is from the hadith so my friend this is sahih so what if it's from the hadith all the quran is a hadith don't you know that the quran itself is a hadith okay imagine that in the bible there's also one one verse that if there's a prophet and and he uh, speaks something and this and it's not uh, coming to life so this is not what what god said but this is what the prophet says and you know he he he, he thought he's like a big prophet and my friend and, and, are you saying to me your prophet is lying now are you saying your prophet no, is but, a liar you took the but, quran from but, him but, you trust but, but him in the quran no my friend no the quran did not say so the quran says the same that you have to obey the prophet whoever obey allah whoever obey muhammad he obey through the quran through the Quran. No, not, no, not, no, not no, don't be stupid. Are, no, because if it's through the Quran, hadiths. shut up. You see, hadiths. I don't know. I don't want to talk to you no more. Go to hell. Sorry. Go to hell. Honest to God, I don't care for you no more. Go to hell. You are lying to yourself. You have dishonesty and you lost your my respect. You do not, you know, obey Muhammad by the Quran only because Muhammad, he said, there's no muta'a. Quran says there is muta. There's tons of orders is not in the Quran. It is in the Hadith and it's opposed totally the Quran. You are a liar and you are being a deceiver to yourself. There's one of two solutions. Either you are dating a Muslim girl and you are a slave of her but panty or you are a man who have a mental illness. How dare you to say that we obey Muhammad only by the Quran. The Quran actually is an empty book. And I say to you, you deserve hell. Seriously, you're insult to yourself. You're insult to your family. You're insult to your brain. You're insult to your kind. Shame on you. I did my part and go. You see, Christianity does not win or lose. We don't. God is God. <coughs> People go to hell. People go to heaven. I mean, God does nothing. It's you who lose, who win. Go right now and check. Search in your prophet Google, peace upon him. And see, can we obey Muhammad by obeying the Quran only? And the answer will be no. You are lying to yourself. This is why the Quran says, Atiyu Rasul. Woman Ata Rasul Ata Allah. <coughs> when who, who obey. If it's only Quran, just say who uh, obey the Quran. You do not need to say obey the Prophet. 